Oh, good morning, good morning. We are bringing back the uh, trailer from a rental. We're about to uh, back it into its spot, and then I want to go over some things with y'all and uh, show y'all something real quick. But we're going to back it into its spot, and I have to have both my hands to do it, so I'll bring y'all back when I get it back in. But we got to put it right over there beside my other trailer. So we have not run over any uh, <clears throat> flower beds, flower bed decorations, or realtor signs this go around. So that is a good thing. Mainly because I've already run over them. <laughs> uh, previous times. And again, this is where window tinting does not help at all. Not in the least. But we're there. Because you cannot see at all back there. All right. So let me know what, ah, wow, look at that. Sure, I'm out of here. here. Get out of here. Well, great day. I'm gonna have to go out and fix that. We're still going. So, <coughs> here is the uh, situation we're in. <laughs> My mechanic all the time tells me not to, or to stop parking up under these trees because they're all over my vehicle staff and everything. But I've literally just got trees all around me where I park. All right, so here's the thing. This was the first customer that I'd rented to that said they were going to dump themselves um and all and that that's not even the problem um so i'll show you where we're. they didn't run into a problem dumping they ran into a problem loading so that's where they were loading with their tractor thankfully uh the tire didn't get busted but they they bent in fender from a trailer not i mean it doesn't hurt the function of it you know so i wasn't not upset or anything but you always just tend they did it to the side also not as bad but and i know that this kind of stuff is going to happen i just i just know it is you know so, i mean i worked in construction you know i worked around trailers i know that trailers are going to get damaged but you just hate it the first time that it happens right so really curious what y'all would do would y'all reach out to the customer and tell them that they have to i mean even if you have a contract right um contract covers like damage and stuff but do do you risk or should i risk an upset customer as a new llc over something that <clears throat> does not hinder the performance of the trailer, right? And like in the, so it's a ten thousand dollar trailer. It got damaged pretty significantly as far as co cosmetics go. But do you do you make a fuss about it? Because like I said, in the world of construction, in the world that this trailer is going to be in, it's going to get banged up, right? So that's pretty much it. They didn't have no problems dumping it um 
all that went well. Everything looks good. Power up real quick. So no no damage up under here, right? So the function of the trailer is still fine. It's just the cosmetics of it, you know. So let me know what you would do as a new LLC, should I, and a new business in this community, should I fuss about cosmetic stuff or should I just bend it out the best I can and roll on with it? Let me know what you think, what you would do. I could get money out of the customer, but I, I don't want to start a fuss over something that's cosmetic. And like I said, that in, in this type of business, stuff's going to happen, right? I mean, I have several contractors that use my trailer so let me know what you would do damaged trailer both fenders both sides got jacked up let me know what you would do all right guys so it's been a couple of hours since i took that first video and i have talked with my customer just to let them know that i saw the damage and just to kind of pick their brain about what happened kind of thing and she was very apologetic although she did say she did not know um what caused the damage here so basically what happened this customer paid me to rent my dump trailer then she paid somebody else to load the dump trailer and then she paid somebody else to dump the dump trailer so there's uh i believe her when she said she didn't know what happened um there were just a bunch of people in my possession or in possession of my trailer so uh, i did find some orange paint on it so it's probably just where the tractor that they were using the load pushed up against it but it is unfortunate but i think i'll be able to bend it back out mostly and it'll be fine uh i talked with some people in um a trailer rental group that i'm in and they said for something like this, just cosmetic damage, and it's not that, that bad, that uh, what they would do is they would just pretty much uh, talk with the customer, let the customer know that they do know that it happened, but then just bend it back out and roll with it, that it just happens. But that's what happened, and um, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna bend it out and keep on renting this thing out and let it keep making money. Um, when you when you rent your stuff out to people, especially for construction type stuff, this is just what you have to expect to happen. You don't like it when it happens, but accidents do happen, and it's just a, a learning experience. So that's it. And that's what's that's uh, the conclusion. That's the story. We move on, right? we move on so nothing that bad and uh it's gonna be rented out again this week so we'll see y'all on the next y'all be good